Meet Heather Dennis. You could say she works on a farm. That sound is crickets. You see, the dinner bell has been rung here at the spider farm. The tarantulas, yes, tarantulas, are hungry. Most any insect will do, but crickets seem to be a favorite. Sometimes one of them crawls out of the lid and it's like, okay, quick, stand up before it crawls on your clothes. One cricket can keep a spider fed for days. They start as babies and then they're going all the way to adults. Heather works for owners Chuck and Anita Christensen. The couple is in the business of raising spiders and other poisonous creatures. At times, the Christensen's will have as many as 75,000 spiders living in the house with them. It's all happening inside this modest home here in the tiny Arizona town of Yarnell. It's often hard to explain what we do and why we do it. Not just tarantulas, but many other varieties of spiders, including Arizona's dreaded black widow with her telltale red hourglass figure on her black body. Spiders are something you need to respect. The black widows are fed maggots. Some spiders can kill. There's a lot of spiders out there that we don't know what the venoms are capable of doing. And, and sometimes that can cause some serious problems that can last for years. Now it's milking time on the spider farm. A tray of waiting tarantulas. I've never had a serious bite, okay? I mean, that's something that actually landed me in the hospital, okay? But I've probably had, I'm guessing, maybe a few thousand spider bites, scorpion stings, centipede bites, whatever. Um, but most of them are, are trivial. Carbon dioxide bubbling through these tubes acts to knock the big hairy spiders out. While they're under, Chuck hangs their fangs over the edge of this tube and then applies a little electric shock. And presto, venom. If you calculate it out per gram, like a black widow venom, okay, might be a few million dollars, okay, per gram, okay, but nobody will ever buy a few million dollars worth of black widow venom, okay, they might buy a few hundred dollars or maybe a few thousand dollars or something like that maximum, and that's a lot of work just to produce that amount. The spider venom is valuable because drug companies think it'll be the next big thing. For example, new ways or new ideas, techniques to stop atrial fibrillation, heart attack, uh, block epilepsy, bladder control, um, pain. Pain is a very big topic right now. And there's a lot of stuff that spider venoms have that can reduce pain. But the discoveries, okay, if um, a pharmaceutical makes a discovery off of that, it could really be worth billions and billions of dollars, easily. The scariest part of my job is, you know, probably working with the tarantulas, because the smaller spiders are very, well, they're small. The Christensen say, they don't worry much about these little killers getting loose inside their house. Their security team, these common daddy long leg spiders. They can catch and kill a black widow. So think about that next time you sweep your house clean of all those cobwebs.